hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial i show you how to set up imagic dynamic plugin into the web server first of all what is imagic imagic is a short name of image magic image magic is a native php extension to create and modify images using the image magic api Image Magic is a software should to create, edit and compose bitmap images and it can read and convert and write images in variety of extensions and formats. So we need to download the DLL from the Google. So let's type Imagic in PHP and open this installing and configure manual and you can see here the latest version given here so let's open it and this is 7.0 php we need to uh, download based on our vamp php version my php version 7.4 so let me download latest version from here 3.4.4 and click here into the DLL and here given 7.4 one more thing is uh, you need to check non thread safe and thread safe to version available here we need to download based on our thread safe disable or unable if thread safe is unable on vamp then we need to download this ts file and if it's disabled then we need to download nts file so let me show you let's open php info and you can see here thread safety in my vamp it's unable so i going to download let's close this 7.4 thread save 64 I already download it so I going to close this and let me show you I already download here and extract this zip and let me open it and you can see here all the DLL are available here copy this php underscore image dot DLL and let's copy open your vamp go to the bin open php folder open php 7.4.9 and whatever you want to set up open ext and copy this php image dll here i already added here you can see here and uh, next step is we need to copy all the other dlls which are prefix with core underscore rl and im underscore mod underscore ir copy all the dlls and put all these dll into the root directory where your php.exe is exist so let me open bin php php 7.4.9 and you can see here i already put it here and all the dll are there my php.exe exist here so i put all this dll here so you should put it so this basic setup is done but we need to set the one more thing we need to add this into the php dot ini file so let's open it and find the extensions and you can see here extension directory we already put into the ext let's find and you can see here the dynamic extensions and put 
this image at the end of all extensions and put image extension just specify here name so when create uh, php underscore image dot dll dynamically and it's handle everything you can see here other extensions so put it like just image same thing we need to set up into the apache php dot ini so let's go to the bin open apache go to the apache open bin and open this php dot ini into the notepad and let's find here as well and put this image same way here at the end of the all extensions and after this just restart your vamp so let me restart my vamp my vamp successfully uh, started so let take one example in this application example given here so let's take one example let's open this i already make some code so let's uncomment this i create one instance using imagic function and specify the public path of the image logo.png and i going to create thumbnail from this original image and let me specify into this view and give here this variable and open this welcome dot black and i going to specify base 60 encode because this image created into the um, base 64 binary i going to encode it and specify data colon image as a base 64 and show this image into this page let me refresh and you can see here thumbnail created and display here so you can easily integrate this image extension in your web server and use it i going to show you how to generate qr code in next tutorial and that's why i create this tutorial because this image library used into the qr code thank you for watching video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you